Hey, Divine Souls, welcome back to my frequency. My name is Brandon. I hope you all are doing good. Today, I want to talk about enlightenment and really just strip away all the hype around it because I feel like a lot of people think enlightenment is only reserved for certain people, you know, certain high level beings, you know, that they only can reach this level of consciousness. But um, what people like Buddha and Christ and all these beings that are that we commonly know, what these beings really brought here was to remind you that enlightenment is already within you. You know, it's been within you since your birth since your childhood, since your teenage years, you know, just throughout life, it's always been within you, you know, it's so, but you attach so much to yourself that isn't really you. And you kind of hold that dear to yourself. And when you kind of really do the self-reflection, you can strip away all of that and just really get back to truly who you are, which is a divine, pure consciousness that is a part of God, when you kind of get back to that state, you realize that you are God. And that's kind of what, that's why it's funny to really, that's why like Eastern teachings is so funny because you see how it plays out in a, in a story or in whatever, you know, you see how the student realizes that truth within their self and they laugh or um, <laughs> because it's, you just go through life thinking that it's so serious and you think that um, you think that it's just much more than it is, but it's really not, you know, and that's kind of why Taoist teachings is so paradoxical because it breaks you out of that linear mindset and it really makes you kind of makes your mind give up because it can't wrap itself around the the lesson. And then once you kind of once your mind gives up it kind of brings you right here and right now. And then, then you get the revelations, you get the, the understandings of what you truly are and who you are, you know, but, but yeah, I just, I just felt like, I just felt like enlightenment is much simpler than what people, um, what people give to it. You know, it's not reserved for only a select few. It's reserved for everybody. It's your right as a, as a, consciousness of god it's it's your right you know it's it's already within you it's just like i said you play these mental games and think that it's much more than that but it's really not and i feel like when we can realize that on a collective level i feel like then we can really add to source in a very divine and beautiful way because we realize that we are taking care of God. We are taking care of itself. Um, and that's how it kind of should be. And that's kind of what the law of one kind of talks about is that is about that realization that we are a part of God and that the, our external is also a part of God um, and how we should honor ourselves and honor the external because it's all a um, reflection of source and of God. So, you know, just just kind of remember that, you know, and realize that enlightenment isn't something that is only for these beings that we've commonly know. It's within you, you know, it's within your DNA. Well, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this message. I love you all so much. Um, I think I'm going to, I might do a session, a meditation uh, today. Um, if not, I'll probably do it tomorrow and just post that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. I love you all so much. Um, I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you guys later. Peace.